first circuit, uh, which is not in your book, by the way, but this is a little simpler than what's in the book. This one has a phase shift, or I mean, no phase shift with it, no caps, no uh, frequency dependent components with it. It has a phase angle from 0 to 90 degrees. Um, the reason I say that is, let's see if we have 120 volts AC here, we have a uh, waveform like so. Yeah, nice and perfectly drawn. Okay. Um, we have a voltage divider between R1 and R2. R1 is an adjustable, uh, it's a rheostat. And um, the voltage here at this point at the gate of the uh, SCR is adjustable. Um, so the voltage at the gate, we can adjust when VGT is actually reached here. Um, if we adjust this as high resistance, the voltage here will be low. It'll take longer for VGT to actually get to the place where the SCR will fire. So when the SCR has not fired, it is an open, so all the voltage is dropped across it. So all the voltage is dropped across it at this point. When the SCR fires, the voltage goes to uh, relatively zero, but it's probably closer to 0.7 to 1 or 2 volts, um, and stays that way until this zero crossing here, where the uh, SCR quits conducting because there's no current through it. The SCR again acts as an open, and the um, let's see if it fires here this time and we haven't readjusted it it'll fire here again so the SCR builds up voltage till it fires and then it is open again alright uh, the load however has no current through it, no voltage across it. It uh, builds up here and we have current through the load therefore the voltage drop is across the load because the SCR acts as a uh, closed switch. Uh, at this point there is no current because the SCR will not conduct backwards. Uh, the SCR is not triggered here and here it is triggered. Okay. The next circuit we have added a capacitor right here. And that has a phase shift to it. This resistor is adjustable. When this is at zero, um, let's see, let's add Okay, put our markers on here for uh, 0, 90, 180, so we can use them. Um, when this is resistors at 0 ohms, then the cap charges with the input uh, voltage, so it, it stays up with it. Um, as you, um, so it reaches VGT rel relatively quickly. However, if you adjust this uh, resistor, uh, this variable resistor, uh, and add a little bit of resistance to it, you delay the charging of this cap, which delays the voltage at the gate of the SCR. This will delay it up to 
180 degrees. Okay, so it'll delay it from here all the way up to here. And you can have up to from 0 to 180 degree phase shift. Um, the voltage here, actually you would need a resistor here for that to happen. Um, this would uh, restrict current to the uh, SCR so that you could actually have a phase shift here. Um, there are probably more complex ways of doing this, but this uh, circuit is uh, uh, 0 to 180. Uh, this develops a phase shift across it. Um, here to here, the voltage builds up slower. It could have a phase shift of, 100 and of at least 90 degrees. So, and we discussed the fact that uh, it wouldn't trigger on any of this. This voltage, this voltage has already happened, so when it gets back down to this voltage over here, it would not happen. Um, we could trigger anywhere from here using uh, the value of resistance um, and uh, X sub C to adjust this from 0 to 180. First you find the capacitive reactants, X sub C is equal to 1 over 2 pi uh, FC. The impedance of the phase angle is uh, impedance total is equal to square root of R squared plus X sub C squared. You remember that from uh, 112. The uh, phase angle is equal to angle minus of X sub C over R. Uh, using input voltage as our reference point, the current through C. Uh, phase angle. over z total at an angle of minus of x sub c over r. Now the value and phase of the capacitor, now let's see if we can do that here, vc is equal to ic at some phase angle of theta times x sub c angle of minus 90 degrees. You remember all that? The amount of delayed phase shift will be the approximate firing angle of the circuit. The conduction angle is found by subtracting the firing angle from uh, 180 degrees. So we have something called a firing angle and a conduction angle. Firing angle is the angle at where you are going to fire the SCR at, and the conduction angle is the rest of it for as long as it's conducting. So if your firing angle is at 50 degrees, your conduction angle would be 180 minus 50 or 130 degrees. The uh, next clip will be a example 157 on page 539.